Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to paint logos onto canvases using a special technique that I learned. It's really simple and it ends up looking really cool, like this Mount Baker ski area logo that I did here. So your first step is going to be to get your materials. I have paint, a water cup, a paintbrush, and a canvas. Pretty simple. You will also need chalk, tape, a pair of scissors, and access to a printer for this project. These are the colors I chose because I wanted a turquoise background. So here's a quick little video of me mixing them. Turned out really pretty and again, it's just the color I wanted for the background. You can choose whatever you want depending on the logo you want, what, co what you like. It's completely up to you. The next step is going to be to paint the background of the canvas. Again, just using the color that you like, you can paint it on here, pretty simple. I like to add a little texture to mine, you'll see here at the end, just as a little fun extra element, but you don't have to, it's all up to you. And then while your paint is drying, you can go ahead and get on the internet, find the logo that you want. I chose the Mount Baker Ski Area logo because I'm making this canvas as a gift for a friend who loves to ski. And I got on there, I found the logo I preferred. There's probably lots of different versions of what you're looking for. You can go a bit more simple, a bit more complicated. It really just depends on what you want. And then you're gonna go ahead and open some sort of Word document, a Google Doc, and then paste it on there. Once the ha once you have the logo pasted onto the doc, you can just go ahead and size it to how big, how big or small you want it. It depends on what kind of uh, surface you're using to paint on. It can be big, small, uh, landscape, portrait, really just however you want it to be, it's completely up to you. So here I am sizing it up to the size that I want. I wanted it to take up most of the canvas, so I made it about as big as I could get it to be. So once you have the logo all sized to the size you want, you can go ahead and print it out. You don't need it to be in color, you're just going to need the outline. The next step in the process is to cut out the logo just around the edges because you're not going to need the extra paper. And then you're going to take the logo, place it face down, grab some chalk. It can be any color you want, it depends on the background. I chose a lighter color since the background color of mine is going to be darker. So you see so you can see there that I chose the yellow, but say you have a lighter background color, you might want to choose something darker, like blue, black, it's up to you, because we want it to be able to show up on the background of the canvas. And what you're going to do with the chalk is cover the entire back of the logo, every single last inch, just like I'm doing here. Then what you're going to do is take your logo, you're going to grab some tape, and do your best to tape it in the area you want on the canvas. I did mine centered, you don't have to, but just tape it around the edges, make sure it's secure, because you are gonna be drawing on this piece of paper. Then you're gonna take a pencil and trace the outline of the logo. You can be as detailed as you want, but make sure you just press hard, because you want that chalk to transfer from the back of the paper onto the paint. So once you take your paper off, you should have a light chalk outline of the logo, and then you can just go ahead and paint it however you want. As you can see here, I tried to match the colors, but you don't have to. And ta-da, you should have a beautiful finished project by the end of this process.